Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So, so at this time, remember we just ran back as wine, cheering food. What you see out here? Let me be honest. What you see out here? You see wine, you see people cheering, and you smell people grilling. It's the same thing that we were forced to do, now we're doing it willingly because we hate God. God said, don't have no other God before him. So when we keep in Bacchus, which is what it's called, it's not Mardi Gras, it's the Feast of Bacchus, we going against God. And then because of this, now go back to Baruch 1. Go back to Baruch 1 and start where he was at, 19. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 1 and verse 19. We have been disobedient until the Lord I will come. And we have been negligent in hearing his voice. And we negligent in hearing his voice. Look, we out here teaching the voice of God, and look what's going on right now. We are negligent to that thing, to the point where we don't want to hear it. The same music that teaching our teaching our women how to be hoes, our men how to be murderers. You think that the ones the one that's rapping this stuff, they really doing it? They be a you gotta think about it. Y'all think Lil Wayne really out there putting that, doing it like that? He be in jail. That's how you know it's poison. It's poison because we the only community that rap about bees and hoes. The country songs ain't talking about that. They uplifting they people, but we telling our sisters to twerk something. We just heard a, 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 a float go by playing F nigga free. Men and women bobbing their head. Mama, baby, daddy, AIDS, syphilis. That's what all that means because I guarantee men are out here to bust down these women. And these women is dressing it the way they showing it off. It's easy to get. It's easy to get. They can be mad at me all they want. It's the truth. And then you got to think about it. The way these women dress and then they got a boyfriend with them. If a man go smack her ass, he going to want her to do something. She going to want him to do something. Not knowing the dude that just smacked the ass got a whole pistol. Now he did. All because of the way they dress. This is going against God. It said we negligent his laws. We don't want God's laws. And that's why we're here in captivity to where we walking around with oatmeal pies thinking we doing something. Come on. Ow. Verse 20. Wherefore, the evils cleave unto us. It said, therefore, evils have cleaved to us. Black on black crime, that is evil. Planned Parenthood, that is evil. Living in the hood, that is evil. These things is cleave to the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Wherefore, the evils cleave unto us, and the curse. And the what? And the curse. It's a curse to grow without a father. It's a curse to not have father and mother married, teaching you what the ways of marriage. It's a curse to see 14-year-olds dressed like whores. That's a curse. And it's because we don't want to keep God's laws. We got sisters ready to combat us because we said cover up. They should be happy about that thing. Free. Which the Lord appointed to us by Moses his servant at the time that he bought our fathers. Verse 21. Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our God. Nevertheless, we still haven't hearkened unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Our God told us to, to told our women to dress modestly. Our God told the men to, to, to keep the commandments, teach the woman, teach the kids. If you lay down with that sister, you supposed to marry that sister. And then we trip about child support. How can you be mad about child support if you lay down with anything? Bring it out. This is this this is madness. We are we look when we go we got brothers and stuff that dog breed. They fresh 
just about their dog sperm, but when it comes to their own sperm, they dropping it off to anything. That don't make sense. That don't make sense, and that's a curse that's plaguing our community. It's really plaguing our community. You, how old you said you was? You 20 years old. You from here? Okay, so being from here, are we living cursed or blessed? We curse, right? Because I think Mobile popping right now, especially Princeton, when it comes to that murder. They going crazy out here with that killing. I think within last week, it was like two or three of them. They, they going crazy. Come on up here, sis. Brother, that's your, that's your, hey, that's your girlfriend? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask your sister a question. And then brother, hey sister, let me ask you a question. If a man came up right now, smacks you in the butt, what you expect him to do? He wants protection, right? All right, now, if the man that just smacked your butt got a gun, he shoots your boyfriend down. What you gonna do? But well, watch this, go to First Timothy 2 and 9, I can help you avoid that whole situation to save your real boyfriend. You got love for this man, right? I just, how you gonna save his life? Read that. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like matter also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Said the women supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel. Are we adorned in modest apparel right now? See, you don't know, you, but you really don't understand why you, you allowing your woman to dress uh, in modesty. You really putting yourself at risk, because these niggas is crazy nowadays. And that's straight up. They'll smack your butt and say, do something. And you're gonna be, your pride going to make you do something. You're going to leave, and that's going to be the last time you leave. And that's just be being real. That's just be being real. That's the thing is, we don't want to hear God's word to clean up the community, but what we out here will do, we going to keep it 100. We gonna speak very plain to you. Something that that pastor don't do. That pastor probably out here right now catching goddamn me of uh, moon pies. Come on. In life man, also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame face and surprise. Hey, my brother. Hey, now my brother. What's your name? What's going on, young king? Hey, how old are you, man? You 11? Did you know it was a king that was 11 years old? No people? Let me real quick, man. Let me show you. Let me show you something, young king. Hold, read, hold what you got. Go to Kings. Get that for me, Kings. I'm gonna show you something. What color is Christ? What color is Jesus Christ? We don't know, right? But what, who is he? Who is he? He told so, so, he must be white then. So in your mind, Jesus Christ is white, right? Period. Not that one. Go to uh, uh, Revelation 1, so I can move the color of Christ. Then we're gonna go there. Just stay with me for two minutes. Stay with me for two minutes, watch this. I'm gonna show you the color of Christ, so if somebody ever asks you again, you're gonna be able to bring it to him. Read that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revelation meaning the reveal. The revealing of Jesus Christ, read. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Say again. Now he can go and do his thing, but he can listen, but the understanding, you don't want to take this word from him. Because I'm teaching him that Christ looks just like him. So he can be proud of that. He should, our young men should not walk up saying this is Christ. That means we failed as a community. But that's your, is that your young man? Is that your son? Your little nephew. But he said this Christ, you might not have taught him that, but he's been failed by the community. So we out here to give him the understanding that he looks just like Christ. That way he can hold his head up proud. That's the thing, that's the problem with our community. You don't want to take this word from him. You should be saying, hey, eat that up. Let me come eat with you. That's what we should be doing. But instead, we think the crew of back is catching stuff off the parade is going to do something for us. When them nuclear bombs come, what we going to do? We going to wish. We gonna, you going to look back on this day. You, yourself, going to look back on this day and say, damn, I messed up. And I killed my nephew because I took him away from the word of God. He want to hear it. Come on, read. Go back to Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. So the color of brass is brown. It said Christ's feet was brown, read, as if they burned in a first. So Christ is a black man. But we got our 11, 12 year olds all coming up here talking about this image is Christ. Because that's what they teach us, right? If I show what color Christ is, y'all most likely point to this one right here. But we go back to John 3:19. 
Go back to John 319. Read this. John 319. Oh, you, you hold what you had, Peter? Okay, I'll pray. The book of, the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 19. And this is the condemnation, that the light is coming to the world. You see now, my brother, this was the condemnation. The, condemnation. the young brother want to learn who he is. The light, he wanted the light. But what happened? And men love darkness. The darkness came and took him away. The evil came and took it away. And the evil can be your own people who take you away from God. Ain't no way that you should take your nephew from learning who he is according to the Bible. Y'all just know who y'all are according to the Bible? Read that again. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. It said, this is, God said our deeds are evil. A lot of people always say, God know my heart. Yeah, yeah, he do. He just said it's evil. Your mind is evil. This is a lot of wickedness out here. This should infuriate you to see in this thing. I understand that you of the world right now, but right now you get the best knowledge ever. They ain't gonna teach you this nowhere. Cause I can guarantee you've been to church before, right? Have they ever told you you was God's chosen people? Have they ever read this? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me see if they ever read this too. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Have you ever heard that before? But you've been to church more than once, right? But you ain't never heard that. God said he chose us to be a special people. What? Unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said we above all people. The way we acting right now, are we acting like we above all people? Right. Just listen to the music. These are little babies out here getting poisoned. These are little babies out here. That's a baby hearing that music. And the reason why is because we never heard this scripture. We got sisters walking with their whole ass out. How you think God feel about that? And then they want a man to respect them. Why should he? Bring it up. Why should a man respect a woman that's dressed like that? She don't respect her damn self. God told the women to dress smarties. Don't bring sexual attention to yourself. Then they wondering why these men out here raping. Yeah, because you're provoking them to rape. All because of the way you dress. Bring it up. Come on, read it again. For thou are in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Y'all heard that before, sisters? That God chose y'all to be a special people? Not dressed like that? I'm gonna be straight up. Not dressed like that. Because God didn't tell you to dress like that. The only way you can be holy is when you're keeping of his commandments. That's the only way. Which one, Jesus, my brother? Him? How old are you? 13? Is you the brother? Oh, who? This is Jesus too? No, this one right here? No, I was pointing to this one. <laughs> no, I'm pointing to this one right here. Watch this, I'm going to show you the color of Christ. Right, so read it. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It's, who got woolly hair? Did this one got woolly hair? This one do? That like wool. That look like dog hair right there. This one got woolly hair, right? So that's a, a strike against this one then. And then there's a plus for that one. He, he batting at a hundred right now. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet. Now your feet, if I look at your feet, it matches the rest of your body, correct? Right, so now John the Revelator looking at Christ's feet, he said, and his feet, it's like unto fine brass. It says like fine brass. You ever seen a penny? The color of a penny is more like brass right there. Do he got that color? His skin that color? What you say? That's more depicted of that than that is, right? That's strike two against that. It said fine brass. Now read. As if they burn in a furnace. It said now like it burnt in a furnace. You ever seen burnt toast? What color is it? It's black. So does this is, does he fit that picture? Or do his one do? So what color is Christ then? What color is it? Come on, someone say it in the mic. They might not hear. Say it in the mic. What color is Christ? Black. That's right. Look, out of the Bible, he's telling y'all that Christ is black. He getting an understanding 
Watch this. Now give me that 2 Kings 22 and 1. Watch this. I'm going to show you that the Bible is written for you and you're a king. You're a king on this earth, but we don't know this. It was kings in Israel ruling y'all age. Watch this. The book of 2 Kings, chapter 22 and verse 1. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign. It said he was eight years old when he became a king. You, you, you see that? Eight years old, how old are you? You nine, this around your age, he was a king. This is your forefather. This is your forefathers. We was kings. Royalty. We not living like that no more. Watch this, Deuteronomy 76 again. I'm going to show you why you kings. Why you are the gods of the earth. You got of the earth too, brother. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. It said God chose the so-called black and Spanish and Native Americans to, to himself. Chose you. Who, who what's better than being chose by God? Ain't nothing better than that, right? He created heaven and earth, and he chose you. What did he choose you to be? To be a special people. To be special. That's how King Josiah was able to rule at the age of eight, because God said to rule at the age of eight. Just think about it. Mobile, just say all of Mobile belong to you. Huh? That make you a king, right? Would you be able to handle that? Huh? Oh yeah, of course you'll get a little help, but that would be your kingdom. Josiah was doing that. He was ruling more than Mobile. He'll rule the whole nation of Israel at this point. This is what this is your forefathers. This is y'all history. This is the real black history. They don't teach, they teach you Harry Tubman. They don't teach you about Josiah, who was a king at eight years old. Read. And chose to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. They said we're supposed to be above all people. Y'all gotta wonder why basketball, we running that thing. We the best athletes, the best scholars. Who you think created these lights? We did that. The super soaker. We did that. Because God said we supposed to be above all people. But right now we not above all people. Right. There's a reason why we're not above all people. But you want you want to be a king again, right? You want to rule a whole a whole city? Don't you? What about you? You want to rule a whole city? I know y'all y'all young, but you still see our, our uh, brothers and sisters going to jail at a long rate. A lot of people dying here in Mobile. We don't want that, right? So we gotta change. We gotta change our mind frame. You see this? Watch this. Go to Matthew three and three. Matthew three and three. Because it's ironic that the, some of the youngest men out here listen. Jeez. Say, say that on the mic, man. Come say that on the mic. What we need to do? The young man said we need to stop the gun violence. That's what we out here to do. To stop the gun violence. The only way that we can stop the gun violence when we come back to who we are. To where we can agree with one another. A grip of the blood ain't gonna agree. A genie and a vice lord ain't gonna agree. People from Pritchard and Tumbleville ain't going to agree, but an Israelite that keeps the commandments is going to agree, which is going to stop the violence that the young king wants to be stopped. Read what you got. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 3. And he said, Verily I say unto you, it said ye be converted and become as little children. It said and become as little children. As you can see the young kids is up here. That's what God wants us to do. Become as little children and do what? And ye shall become as little children. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. But we got to become as little children ready to soak the game up. Because y'all over here soaking the game up. When you're a little kid, I can tell you the grass is green. You believe me. You know what I'm saying? We out here reading the Bible. You 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 believe that Josiah was a king, right? Now you know that Christ is what come. What, right? What about his people? Let's read that in the Bible. See, this is stuff that we don't learn in black.
black history. But now y'all gonna be the wisest, wisest young men out there because y'all hearing this and y'all getting the understanding of it that these people don't want. Watch this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourned and the gates that were ablaze. They are black. What color the Jews is? They are black. Wait, 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 wait. You a Jew. You a Jew. Nation is men leading by example. 